Hey everybody, so I've had a lot of questions about carbon and what is it and why is it so important to use in composting? So carbon, why do we have to use that scientific name carbon? Can't we make it simpler? And the answer is, is yes, we can make it simpler. But carbon is generally just a brown dry material, an organic material, which means it came from uh, a living organism, in this case plants or trees. And so some common examples of that are sawdust, drown, bright brown, that's a tongue twister, drown, brown, dry trees, leaves, also the same, and then paper as well. And you can also have dry grass as well as another example. But why this is really important is that even in composting in nature, it requires to have a certain level of carbon to nitrogen, which is your food waste, in order for the microorganisms and the worms to do their thing. So with other compost systems, you have to obey by ratios to, to get a really good compost going. But with Subpod, we just suggest that you have a handful of carbon for every handful of food waste. Just keep it really simple. If you're not adding carbon, then what can typically happen is that your compost system can start to get a bit smelly and sludgy and the worms don't particularly like it. So best practices, add a handful of carbon every time you're feeding, keep your worms happy, keep your plants happy as well too. So I hope this helps and happy composting everyone.